Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice trigonometry problem? From here, we have 16 raised to power times square x plus 16 raised to power 4 square x equals to 10. We have to find the value of x such that x is in between 0 degree and 90 degrees. And uh, recall that sine square x plus cos square x is equals to 1. Then we should let y be equals to sine square x. So let y be equals to sine square x from here. Then we can now say that cos square x is the 1 minus y. So we cannot write cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x, which is y now. So cos square x will be 1 minus y. So also we have this. Then here, we can make this substitution into what we have in terms of y now. So we can say we have 16 raised to power y. 16 raised to power y plus 16 raised to power 1 minus y, that's cos square x, which is equal to 10 from here. Then here, let's rewrite this from the law of indices. And uh, this is still 16 raised to power y. Then we have plus 16 raised to power 1, which is also 16. Then over 16 raised to power y equals to 10 from the law of indices here. Then, 16 years serving as the LCM year. That means we can multiply each of these fractions by the SCM in order to clear this fraction. So, 16 raised to power y times 16 raised to power y. That will be 16 raised to power y squared. So, we have 16 raised to power y squared. Then, plus 16 raised to power y. will have cancelled 16 raised to power y here. We have only 16 which is equal to 10 times 16 raised to power y. Then from here, we can also use a letter to represent 16 raised to power y. So let a letter z, let z be equal to 16 raised to power y. Then from here, we can write this now and say this will be z squared plus 16 equals to 10 z. Then let's bring everything to one side and form an equation. So this will be z square minus 10z now, then plus 16 equals to 0. The factors of 16 that will give us minus 10, that will be minus 8 and the minus 2. So we can say that this is z square minus 8z minus 2z plus 16 equals to 0 from here. Then when we group these two to z is common between these two, we have z minus 8. Then minus 2 common here, we have z minus 8. Then equals to 0. So we say z minus 8 is common. And then we have z minus 2 left which is equal to 0. So the two possible cases here, we have z minus 8 equals to 0, or we have z minus 2 equals to 0. From here, z is equal to 8, and on this side, z equals to 2. Then, code that we let z to be equal to 16 raised to power y. Then that means 16 raised to power y on this side will be equal to 8. Also, 16 raised to power y on this side will be equal to 2. Then from here to solve, we can change both sides to raise 2. We have 2 raised to power 4 and y equals to 2 raised to power 3 here. And then from here, the base are equal. We have 4y now equals to 3. Then divide both sides by 4 to get y. We have y equals to 
3 over 4 from here y equals to 3 over 4 and on this side as well we have 2 raised to power 4y equals to 2 raised to power 1 here also 4y equals to 1 from here divide both sides by 4 also we have y to be equals to 1 over 4 from here then because that we represented y as sine square x so we say y to be equals to sine square x earlier then from here we have y now to be sine square x on this side we have sine square x now which is y is now equals to 3 over 4 and on this side we have sine square x which is y equals to 1 over 4 then we can get rid of this square by taking the square root on both sides then on this side uh, we have square cancel square root we have sine x left which is equals to here we can separate this root as root 3 over root 4 and root 4 is 2 then from here we have also taking the square root on both sides the square cancel the square root here we have sine x equals to square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is 2 then remember that we are interested in the solution between 0 and 90 degree so here we have sine 60 degree to be same thing as root 3 over 2 it implies that x on this side will be 60 degrees so we have the value of x here as 60 degrees and on this side we have sine 30 degree to be equals to 1 over 2 which means here x equals to 30 degrees from here then let's check if this satisfies the given problem on what we are given sine square hex 16 raised to power sine square hex plus 16 raised to power cos square hex equals to 10 now for 60 degree this will be 16 raised to power sine you know 60 degree sine square 60 degree then plus 16 raised to power cos square 60 degree then is it equals to 10 from here then this is same thing as writing this as 16 raised to power sine 60 degree that's root 3 over 2 then square plus 16 raised to power cos square 60 degree that's 1 over 2 cos 60 degree 1 over 2 then square is this equals to 10 from here then this square will affect these two numbers that's 16 raised to power 3 over 4 now as the square we can't square it here 2 square is 4 then plus 16 raised to power 1 over 4 is it equals to 10 from here then we can write this as 4 root of 16 raised to power 3 plus also 4 root of 16 raised to power 1 from here is equal to 10 and 4 root of 16 is of course 2 so we have here 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 10 2 raised to power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 plus 2 is it equals to 10 from here then 10 here is equals to 10 left hand side equals to the right hand side so x equals to 60 degree satisfy the given problem and also we can also test that over 30 degree so we say x equals to 60 degree is valid for this uh, relation and now uh, let's put x equals to 30 degrees now so if this is 30 degrees now we have 16 raised to power sine square 30 degree plus 16 raised to power cos square 30 degree is it equal to 10 
then sign 30 degree from there we have that 16 raised to power 1 over 2 then square plus 16 raised to power cos 30 degree there will give us root 3 over 2 then square is it equals to 10 from here then when we simplify as well we have 16 raised to power 1 over 4 plus 16 raised to power 3 over 4 is this equals to 10 from here then also 4 root of 16 here 10 plus 4 root of 16 raised to power 3 is it equals to 10? 4 root of 16 has 2. Then 2 plus here, 2 raised to power 3. Is it equals to 10 from here? Then this is 2 plus 8. And 2 plus 8, of course, is 10. So 10 is equals to 10. The left hand side equals to the right hand side. Also, x equals to 30 degrees. Satisfy this given you know, problem. And here we have come to the end of the class. We say thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. And turn on the notification bell. Also give your comment in the comment section. And uh, thank you. See you in the next class then. Bye for now.